I'm Chewy Martinez, movie fanatic, and this is Eric Allman, combat medic, EMT, and DMT with 20 years of experience. Join us and our team of weapon experts as we analyze the demonstrations of the world's most lethal items from El Rey's Man at Arms Art of War, hosted by Danny Trejo. Right here on History's Deadliest Weapons. Which weapon is the deadliest? Let's learn a little history about the Kopesh. The Kopesh is a symbol of the gods and a symbol of the power of the Pharaoh. You'll usually see the Pharaoh holding the Kopesh aloft as he's destroying his enemies, or you'll see the gods offering the Kopesh to Pharaoh as a symbol of this transition of power. not very long swords. Bronze is a very heavy metal. The longer you make your swords, the more of a tendency for it to bend. The Kopesh combined the cutting ability of the slashing axe with the penetrating ability in one weapon. That point that's in line with the wrist allows for the penetrative thrust. All right, today we have the Kopesh, an ancient sword from ancient Egypt. I think I need one, brother. Yeah, it looks pretty dangerous, like a curved machete. It's got a long curved blade. That's gonna give them more time to just keep going and falling through the slice. Have your guts hanging out, have extra muscle hanging out. Pretty gnarly. Yes, sir. Let's see this thing in action. Those are some pretty movements. Right in the ovary. Look at that. Right in the ovary. Is the ovary up there? No. Just yours. Okay. You got the arm. You got yeah, the arm. Slice the arm. Oh! Yo! Oh! Damn. Hey! Oh, that went across the throat. That was great. Right across the throat. Yeah, that's a Mortal Kombat finisher. All right, so now we're taking a look at Kopesh versus Mommy across the chest. Could you survive that, Eric? Yes, it's not a death move. Now look at all the blood coming out. Look at all that blood. Niagara Falls. That's hitting right about the diaphragm. We need our diaphragms, right? Yes, sir. Need that to breathe. You're not gonna have to use your arms. It's coming right across right there. That would kill your arm. So what kind of damage are we dealing with? Obviously an efficient weapon, it did a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. That's hitting right about the diaphragm, the stomach area. And if that was lower, under the rib cage, it could hit your kidneys, it could hit you in the back where your spleen's at, you're able to get up underneath. Yes. So that's a lot of damage. When you hit the neck, obviously in the carotid, yeah, you slice See somebody's throat open, so that would be fatal. All right, Eric, final thoughts for the Kopesh from ancient Egypt. You want to chop somebody's arm off or decapitate them, not so good, but big curved machete, it's going to give them a lot more surface area to keep going and cutting through the flesh. Yeah. I'd say it's a pretty good weapon. Stealth killer or shell filler, my friend? And uh, considering the blade is sharp, it's curved, how much you can use it with the other hand and then that tip, that extra hook on it, looks pretty nasty. I think I'm gonna have to go with it being a stealth killer at this time. I agree with you 100%. Hey guys, I'm your host Chewy Martinez and make sure to check out more videos from Man at Arms, Art of War and History's Deadliest Weapons on the right and hit the subscribe button on the left.